Hello everyone. In this INR number 91, we are going to discuss about another important PYQ, follicular lymphoma. Right? So what is follicular lymphoma? Follicular lymphoma is a B cell type of lymphoma and their origin is from the germinal center. Because they are originating from the germinal center, so that is why they will be also positive for germinal center marker which is called as BCL6. Right. So they are also positive for BCL6 that is the germinal center marker. Right. Who will be affected middle aged from 30 to 50 years of the age group. Males are commonly affected. See most common presentation. Most common presentation is painless generalized lymph node enlargement. Remember if you if you think about mantle cell lymphoma. Right. Mantle cell lymphoma it was painless cervical lymph node in one. Right. Only cervical lymph node were enlarged. But what I am saying here, painless generalized lymph node means it will be cervical, inguinal, multiple area will be affected. So that is why we are using the term generalized. Right. So that is the most common. So when examiner says 35 year to 45 year old age group, male and inguinal and cervical axillary lymph nodes are affected. Think about follicular lymphoma. Right. So follicular lymphoma, lymph node biopsy, when you will do what you will find, there are two characteristic cells, centrocytes and centroblast. Centrocytes will be having cleavage in the nuclei. So cleaved nucleus will be present. And that is why they are also called as buttock cells. So now you can see this is the peripheral blood of the follicular lymphoma. And you can see the nucleus is like a cleaved. So this is the cleavage which is looking like a buttock. So that is why we call this as a buttock cell. Right. So that is centrocyte, cleaved nucleus, buttock cell, centrocyte, centroblast, larger cell and prominent nucleoli. So larger cell and prominent nucleoli that is centroblast, which is not seen here. So that you can see in the lymph node biopsy. So when you will see the lymph node biopsy, first you will notice they are having nodular aggregate of lymphoma cell. So you can see nodular aggregate. So they are forming the follicles. So this is why it is called as follicular lymphoma. And when you are going to see this in you will in this you will find small lymphoid cells with centrocytes. Centrocyte will be having condensed chromatin and irregular or cleaved nuclear outline which is called as centrocytes. Right. So centrocytes means buttock cells. So you can see centrocytes will be seen here. You can see the sum of the cells are having central cleavage. They are having cleavage. These are centrocytes. Then next cell will be the centroblast, larger cell with nucleoli. So now you can see these are the larger cells with prominent nucleoli, right? Larger cells with prominent nucleoli that is centroblast. So that is what we are going to observe in the lymph node biopsy of follicular lymphoma. So follicular lymphoma by, by biopsy, centrocyte, centroblast will be seen. Centrocyte will be having buttock cell or cleaved nucleus, which we are seeing here. Cleaved nuclei will be present. Cleaved nuclei will be present. Centroblast will be having larger cell with prominent nucleoli. Right. For diagnosis of the follicular lymphoma, we will use bone marrow biopsy, immunophenotyping and cytogenetics. Bone marrow biopsy, what we are going to see, we are going to see paratrabicular lymphoid aggregate, which we can see here. If you look at this, these are the bony trabeculi. Right. So I am showing you bony trabeculi and around the bony trabeculi, you can see all these are neoplastic lymphocytes. So all these are lymphoma cells. So that is why we are saying paratrabicular Lymphoid aggregate is characteristic of follicular lymphoma. Please remember this wording paratrabicular lymphoid aggregate is characteristic of follicular lymphoma. On immunophenotyping, they are CD10 positive, CD19 positive and BCL6 positive. Right. So CD10, 19 and BCL6 all will be positive. Right. Because they are, you remember, they are arising from the germinal center. That is why BCL6 positive and cytogenetics translocation 14, 18 and they will be causing an overexpression of the cyclin D2 or BCL2. Remember mantle cell was cyclin D1 or BCL1. Translocation was 11, 14. Here translocation is 14, 18. Follicular is for 14. Right. Like that we can remember and overexpression will be cyclin D2 or BCL2 and this is how we will diagnose the follicular lymphoma. So keep revising these topics. Best wishes. For